once mankind started to use nuclear power to generate electricity, it was obvious that we will also generate some waste, which has to be treated so that it doesn't harm anybody. And uh, you can't make nuclear waste go away. You cannot make nuclear waste harmless. So several ways how to get rid of the waste were explored. Send it in the rocket out to the sun. It disappears, it will, ne will never make harm to anyone. How to ensure that the rocket doesn't explode on the launching pad or sinking it to deep sea. We would never be able to, to claim that, that we can safely put something into the bottom of the oceans because still we, we have a, an impression that the, the oceans are really the, the mother of all life. It's not a safe way of handling spent nuclear fuel or radioactive waste. How much waste exists in the world today, totally? Uh, I'm not quite aware. Um, I would say between 200,000 and 300,000 tons, somewhere between these two. We already have enormous amounts of nuclear waste all over the world. If this waste spills out into nature, it'll cause death and destruction. Large areas will become uninhabitable for a long, long time. Did that happen? Are there forbidden zones with no life in your time? A hundred years ago, just three human generations ago, when radiation was first discovered, we didn't understand that it was very dangerous, but we noticed that it can be useful, and we started to work with it. Radiation is a sort of energy which can penetrate deep into your body and harm your health. But it is an invisible danger. We have no sense for it. You cannot see it, feel it, or smell it. And still, it may even kill you. Radiation then can be described as small packages of energy. And when they hit the, the genetic code, the DNA molecule, they can break it, split it. If you have a very, very serious whole body exposure, you don't feel anything until one hour or so afterwards, where you start to feel nausea and you may vomit and you may think you have got a food poisoning. And in between you may feel better, but only after two weeks you start to bleed, you have diarrhea and fever. And if after a few weeks you may even die from this. Radiation can also leave a trace in you. It can change the genes, mutate the genes. It will cause malformation or disease or dysfunction. So beware. Never stay in an area with an enhanced radiation level and never ever touch upon a strong radiation source. So we are storing the waste today above ground in water pools. has been chosen as the site of the disposal facility for spent nuclear fuel. Onkalo. Somewhere. 
then we start widening this area. More and more and more bigger area come. Mm. Like in a big cave or? Yeah, imaginable big cave. It's like a big city underground. The repository acts like a cocoon, if you like, or a Russian doll, where you have uh, barriers which complement each other, so that if one barrier might fail, so other barriers still are able to mitigate all the consequences. The final disposal facility will be constructed in stages and decommissioned in the 2100s. When the entire tunnel is ready, a thick concrete closure is cast at the tunnel mouth. We will fill the chambers of Onkolo with the nuclear waste from Finland, from just one little country in the north. After one century, we will seal Onkolo for all eternity, just like the tombs of the pharaohs and the pyramids were sealed thousands of years ago never to be opened again. Once upon a time, man learned to master fire, something no other living creature had done before him. Man conquered the entire world. One day he found a new fire, a fire so powerful that it could never be extinguished. Man reveled in the thought that he now possessed the powers of the universe. Then in horror, he realized that his new fire could not only create, but also destroy. Not only could it burn on land, but inside all living creatures, inside his children, the animals, all crops. Man looked around for help, but found none. And so he built a burial chamber deep in the bowels of the earth, a hiding place for the fire to burn into eternity. When the burial chamber was complete, man laid his new fire to rest and tried to forget about it, for he knew that only through oblivion would he be free from it. But then he started to worry that his children might find the burial chamber and awaken the fire from his sleep. So he bade his children to tell their children and their children's children too to remember forever to consign the burial chamber to oblivion, to remember forever to forget. Onkelo is our very first permanent repository for nuclear waste. But when Onkelo is sealed a century from now, it'll hold only a fraction of the waste we have. We must build many more Onkelos far from earthquakes and volcanoes to keep the waste away from the surface of the earth. We must build many more secret chambers that we hope to hide from you. <laughs> 